King with a little more experience fighting with Meta Martial Arts. Trains with Nathan Murdoch. He looked very calm. Nice knee by Carlos. Ooh, nice high here. So Ethan's stance is pretty low. Almost like a wrestling stance. Good head oh. movement. Yeah, but I think he wants right to grab into oh. right. He's pushing that knee. I think he's looking to go mount. These double legs have been really dominant tonight. They've been Everyone's pretty. Like a great job. Very, a lot of slams too. Not just like running the double, like a lot of slams. On his back. Like you said, like to take the back. I can't see if it, yes, no. Nope. His last fight, he actually won by rear naked choke. So let's see if he can uh, make it a second one by rear naked choke. Uh, he's going oh, to the other arm. He's doing a great job setting this up with punches as well. Getting getting Carlos thinking about defending himself and sliding the arm right under the neck. And Carlos is doing good. He's not letting him no. get, that, get that arm under that chin. Maintaining his composure. He's trying to turn into, he's really trying to turn into, he, he knows what Ethan's looking for. Yep. Working the arms. Yeah, he's uh, good. Good job by Carlos grabbing really the is. Ethan's hand so he really can't make that submission. When you've got someone as skilled as King is, he's gonna escape. Looks like Ethan's that's... maybe gonna try to transition into mount here if he doesn't get the back. He slid that right leg across the body. Sometimes they're gonna slide right into mount if they have a risk of losing the back position. This is the perfect time for Carlos. He could really use that cage to force himself over back on top and just end up in that guard. He's trying turn to turn, like it. you were saying. Yeah. He can just use those hips. But every time he, every time he turns, Ethan's looking to slide the opposite arm under. So. It's oh, oh. Yeah, he's going back and forth. It's just kind of. I mean, he's. Especially when, those, when Ethan, like Ethan has such a good job with his legs wrapped around Carlos. He is doing good. Yep, he's, the cage. he's really using the hooks to force him where he wants, going under the knee. Yeah, he's. And again, he's he's working. For, that's what he's looking for, Miss Tally. I think, like you said, he's. And oh, and he's spreading, spreading the chicken. He, oh, he's in there too. He's under the leg, up like that. He's under the neck. Spread the chicken. Carlos is flat out. This is a terrible position to be on bottom. But he's still defending. He's not giving up. No. I can't tell if he's got his chin in. 10 seconds. It looks like it's deep. Oh, okay. That Five seconds. Three seconds. Can he, he can hold on? on? He's. Tough 20 seconds. Spread the chicken out. He was flat out. Do you call it spreading the spread chicken? Spread the chicken. That's what we call <laughs> we it. We call it starfishing. We're uh, just like starfishing. Yes. Out like <laughs> Either way, it's a terrible uh, position to be in. I don't know. I like this. to spread chicken better. <laughs> spreading the chicken. Spread the chicken. No, you're just stuck there. You're, your feet are up and dangling off the ground. It's terrible. And then there's a lot of pressure on the back in that yeah. position. It's really, it, it really is a rough position to be in. Really, and I was even if his chin was inside the elbow, it, that's such a rough position. It's so hard on the upper back and, and Ethan, neck. I mean, Ethan had it under the chin as well, so it's not he had he had the choke in with the pressure on the back. That you know that was tough to hold out for that last 20 seconds. Impressive. Uh, most people would have pretty quick to that. So Definitely. Carlos did a good job holding out. He's a tough one. Okay. Keeps his composure well. He doesn't look, you know, he looks calm. He's yeah. not freaking out, doesn't look stressed. Yeah. Both of these fighters looking great going into round two. That's what's so, that's what's so nice after every round, we get that minute break just to kind of gather ourselves. Right? Again, I'm so impressed with, with King, King's head movement, the way he, as, as he comes in. Carlos did a great job of defending that so far. Ethan's stance being so low, he can drop easily right into that shot. Oh. Carlos is fighting it. He can work up, work, use the cage, built right up, wasted no time. That didn't let Ethan get him stuck on the ground. Great work by Carlos, keeping it moving. Ethan's looking to bring this leg out to go trip. That ankle. 
straight in the mount if Carlos isn't careful. This is almost like a little puppy position. This depth just yes. keeps you there and squished, locking those legs up. And it forces either to give up the mount or to turn and give up the back. So, yep, straight to the mount. Look at this. Yep. He is on it tonight. <laughs> if he can. Carlos was Still able to get in half if he can. Yep. He got back to full. Great work. Not not letting Ethan, you know, get the best positions. He's tying up the arms. He's he's staying smart on bottom. You know, not letting Ethan posture up and, and lay it on him. Pushing off the hips, and he's almost up. He's not giving up the takedown yet. He really wants to be on top. Carlos is threatening with the guillotine in some of these positions. He's looking for Carlos the needs to get here. his back. Trying to get it. Oh, big slam. Very good slam. Carlos is scrambling. He might look to get back to the fence and build back up for the third time. Yeah, they're staying busy. He's doing a good job hooking that Ethan's foot to not allow him to get into full mount. It's almost like a half mount. So he's doing a good job with that. You know, he needs to push that knee and get back to half. We really, Carlos would not do well to, you know, let him get back into mount and to give up the back. Which is already, Ethan's looking for the back here. He's yeah, maybe going to pull him on top and roll through. If he pulls him on top, rolls to the right side, he's back onto Carlos's back here. There he goes. He's got second, that second, second hook round. in. Finishing. At least there's not too much time left. You know, Carlos doesn't have to deal with him on the back for too long. Not too far off from. Yeah, he's you, you don't want to. Surviving. Just surviving the last 10 seconds. Yeah, you don't want to keep, keep doing that and leave it to the judges. So, in my opinion, Carlos really going to have to bring it in this third round. And I think he needs to um, keep it on the feet. Really not let Ethan get in where he's obviously very comfortable. Just kind of uh, transitions so well from the top. Keeps going back for the, for the back. He's I just mean. switching mount back, mount back. Really uh, smooth transitions. Really the ambidexterity of him going from right arm, left arm. Right. I mean, yeah. it's it's smart. I mean, that's how you're gonna. That's how he probably got his last, you know, rear naked choke submission. So trying to get away from it in one direction a, and slip into the yes, other. Not a lot of people know how to defend both sides when they start switching hands. And and Carlos has been real smart so far. You know, he's not been in great positions, but he has been defending himself. Yeah, smart. Third and final round. To find out, is it going to be Carlos Gutierrez out of San Antonio, or we'll call him local out of Joplin, oh. Ethan King? He knew he just dropped down. He knew he was uh, that Carlos was going to come in to swing, and all he had to do was just drop down and get those legs. Definitely, Carlos knew he needed to come out swinging. I would have liked to see a little bit more distance with that. You know, throw those jabs out there, then work into those big knee makers. You can't rush into a no. wrestler. It, set, it, it sets up their takedown for you. So it's really difficult. And these fighters will take this advice from, from you, you ladies, and they're going to improve their games. Again, yeah, everything's a... Yeah, it really is. Definitely. Even when you win, there's so much that you can go back. Always. Yeah, you know, and that's uh, that's one of the great things about MMA to me. I mean, even when you lose, you learn. And, and don't get fooled. When you win, it does hurt. I mean, it's, it still hurts. Carlos is doing a good job just to get out of positions. He almost was attacking a triangle, but... Ethan knew what was up and was able to pass. And this is honestly just so exhausting from Gutierrez having to be under this pressure and fighting and everything you do, you're now into another position and you're having to you try have to and survive. You have to be smart. You have yeah. to be smart because Ethan's very smart on top, so he's got to be really smart on bottom watching these transitions. Ethan's like blue right now. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's just on. Stepping into the back. This is what he wants. He wants the back. He's got both hooks now. 
Carlos is a little bit more tired in this third round, so. Ethan's trapped that arm now, so now Carlos only has one arm to defend his neck. Is Ethan gonna punch? Is he gonna go for the arm bar maybe? He's lo locking up that left arm. I'm wondering if he's gonna throw that right leg across. That's where tactics come in, so important. I think he's gonna go for this arm right here. He's got him kind of splayed with his legs though, so I mean if... It's almost like a crucifix position. Right. He's got yeah, the stuff in. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh. The crowd inside the Northwest Arkansas Convention Center chanting for Ethan. Final 10 seconds of the third and final round between these two. No for me. <laughs> you won't see me trying any of that. No, no. man. The last thing you want to do is win a fight and break an ankle. Legs are a little bit yeah, tired. Johnny Walker won the fight in his celebration yeah. dance. Blew his shoulder out. Yeah. So um, take heed. Please be very careful with your celebratory actions. You know, even actions. like we just said, even when you win, it hurts. <laughs> but to injure yourself, that's... Uh, careful but he's a tough kid and did a great job good fight both of these fighters this bout going the distance coming down to the judges by unanimous decision out of the red corner Ethan Ethan King gets the victory Ethan, I was extremely crowd. impressed with your, you know, your transitions on top. Mount, look to go to the back. Is it safe to say that trying to get to the back was your game plan? Oh yeah, I control all the time. Yeah, it was, it was pretty obvious. It was very, very good transitions, really slick. You attacked a lot of submissions. You weren't able to finish him, but really a step ahead on the ground. Very impressed. Thank you. Last fight, they told me to choke him, then told me to stop and start punching. So I just start throwing punches. Well, it worked out for you. Really great decision win. Thank you. Great job. Congratulations, Ethan King. And yeah, and Carlos, I mean, he really kept his cool. He did. In some desperate situations.